Hi, I'm DeAndre. We're here at the uh, David Brower Center where the simulcast of the dialogue with Bob Lincoln and Cornell West will be shown on Saturday. And I would like to read a letter from Alice Walker uh, responding to the announcement of the dialogue. It's called Let the People Decide. She writes, as a young Southern black woman, I was deeply impressed and changed in the 60s by the appearance in our local communities of SNCC, members of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, whose mission was to transform the apartheid Jim Crow South. They were the first activists of color with their white allies that I saw who respectively listened to poor black people and to the poor white people who would allow it and had as our guiding mantra, let the people decide. We are now in such dire straits as a planet that letting the people of the world decide our course is the only sensible option. Leaders of various stripes have failed us completely, and who would actually seem to enjoy making us feel afraid? Living as we do under surveillance, police terrorism, and the sweeping of our children into prison, if in fact they survive the perils of walking while black on any city street. I am as leery as anyone of every single political system that has appeared on the scene, going back thousands of years, all male dominated and penis power driven. But that does not prevent my understanding that if we cannot, at the very least, sit down like human grown ups to talk to each other face to face, we'll soon be reduced as our politicians have been, to bombing people in strange lands we will never know. Before we are all covered completely in the blood of other people's children, let us find other ways to be and to do. This conversation with Brothers West and Avakian will be an opportunity to explore other realms of thought, leading, hopefully, to other possibilities of direction change. For instance, the inclusion at the deepest and highest levels of consideration, the voices of leadership that have been the most thoroughly oppressed, that of indigenous women and men, especially the wisdom and vision of indigenous women.